Joining me now to discuss all of this is Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City, former CEO Thomas Honig. Sir, thank you for joining us. It's hard to know where to begin. I want to pick up on something that uh, President Biden said yesterday. Half of the people in this country are getting a tax cut. Is that accurate? Um, I can't say that it's accurate or inaccurate. I'm not uh, familiar with that uh, proposition yeah. at all. I don't. I don't know that it um, is accurate at all. It doesn't sound correct to me, but um, maybe somewhere in there, <laughs> there's a. You know. Okay, well, let me pick up on what he also said. 17 Nobel laureates uh, sent him a letter saying, "Hey, your spending plans will actually reduce inflation." Can you respond to that? <laughs> Again, I, I, I can't. I've not seen the letters <laughs> I, since. Yeah. Um, uh, spending usually is a stimulant, and um, I think the yeah. tax increase would be a uh, factor that would uh, impede spending because, of course, you're t taxing spending income, so that's going to reduce spending. So that's where I would see the, the cut coming from, but not from, uh, not from spending increases. I'm sorry. No, oh, that's okay. So overall, um, look, this is a massive spending bill. Um, it's designed to, of course, expand social programs, uh, address climate change, and, and so on and so on. But from just purely an economic point of view, is this a positive or a negative? Well, I would say that it's um, mostly a negative. Uh, I'm sorry, but okay. it's just a uh, major... Look, at right now we have we have an inflationary problem. Uh, we have mm -hmm. supply disruptions, and we now know that those are more than just transitory. They're going to be here a while. This is a global issue. Then on the demand side, we have very significant uh, accommodative monetary policy. We have uh, from the last major spending bills out of the Congress and uh, become law, we have major spending uh, across the board uh, and increase in saving, which are now able to spend. And we all and we have on the table additional spending bills, uh, both for infrastructure and for other social programs, which uh, I'm, they say will be uh, paid for, but there's a lot of questions of whether or not that's possible. And so you have that coming together. That means you're going to have continued uh, inflationary pressures uh, over time. And then you have the Federal Reserve, who's uh, in a very accommodative position. They are talking about tapering uh, over the next several months. But remember, tapering is a slowing in your accommodation, not a not a neutralizing or uh, tightening of policy. And so that uh, will add to or at least facilitate increased demand. So I think on balance, our greatest risks are for continued inflation, despite um, what we might say about the spending bill or the supply disruption being temporary. I think it's going to be here for well into 2022 and I think reasonably beyond that. Yikes. All right. So in other words, we should get used to it. Also, Thomas, I wanted to get your thoughts on this, on the new Democrat proposal to raise the IRS reporting threshold now to $10,000 from that initial one that shocked everybody of $600. What's your thought on the latest development? I think it makes very little difference. If you think about it, it's 10000 yeah. in or out on an annual basis. That's 800 some plus dollars a month. Most people will meet that uh, criteria. So we have 400 million bank accounts. This is a massive intrusion, I'm afraid, uh, into uh, our, our, our own spending uh, uh, aggregates. Uh, and I think uh -huh. uh, it's really uh, in contradiction to our founding principles of protecting privacy. And I would also tell you that the amount of money that they're projecting, say, 400 billion over 10 years, maybe 40 billion a year, yep. In terms of the, uh, of the imposition or the intrusion, um, is very little when you think of the, the economy as a $20 trillion economy and government spending is over $6 trillion and growing. This is, a, this is a very small amount and a very yeah. substantial intrusion uh, into individuals' uh, personal spending accounts. It's, I think, uh, unfortunate and uh, a real unnecessary and I think conflicts with our basic principles of this country.
I think you speak for a lot of people right there. Thomas, thank you so much for joining. It's a massive overreach, bottom line. Thomas Honig, thanks so much for joining us today. We do appreciate it.